Hi Collective, welcome back to my channel here at Bobby's Girl Tarot. We're going to get you some collective messages here, see what's going on. The energy between you and your person, I'm going to pull a few love cards and um, get you some advice here. Today is 8-8-2022. This is the Lion's Gate portal, guys. So uh, make sure you're keeping your uh, vibrations high and you have positive thoughts here. Know that's what you're going to attract, okay? So get out of that negative thinking, that negative mindset. Let's see, uh, Collective, what's going on with you and your person right now, all right? These messages will not resonate with everyone out there, so only take what resonates for you and your situation and leave the rest, okay? Do not force these messages to fit. So let's get started, guys, and see what's going on between you and your person right now. Okay. All right. Oh, we got tool and labor. Somebody's thinking. Somebody's thinking about working with you, working together with you. Somebody's fantasizing. They're dreaming. They're daydreaming here. Somebody's also been getting very creative and artistic with the way that they want to approach this situation, guys. Okay, now this is this is you or this is your person. Reverse the roles here, okay? I also feel like maybe you've been working a lot. This could be somebody that you already work with. All right, we got sudden well, so... Uh, you know, somebody hitting the jackpot or somebody thinking that they've hit the jackpot here. Maybe somebody's gambling. Maybe you're thinking about going to the, uh, to the casino or just taking a risk here. Risky business. Now, this is risky business for you, okay? Or this is uh, you uh, making that decision. Is this going to be a good risk to take? Or is somebody thinking about uh, this being a good risk or a good investment for them or for you? All right, we got the number 38, the number 11, the number 16, the number 7, or the number 11 again. Luck be a lady tonight. I don't know. Or, I mean, whether you're a lady or a gentleman here, okay, someone's feeling lucky, okay? Uh, I like it. Okay, now some of you can be focused on your pets right now, too. I have to get these messages here. Okay, or somebody could be worried about their pets. Now, they could also have a, a close friend or, um, a relative that they work with or somebody could know you through a, cro a close friend or through a relative guys okay so they may be working at a machines or factory or you're mechanically inclined or you're dealing with a person that's mechanically inclined yeah all right i like it i love it all right let's see the energy around you and your person collective what's the energy around you and this person Somebody's doing a lot of contemplation. Strong arms. So somebody can have strong arms. Somebody can be very muscular here. Whether this is you or this is your person. This is a, you know, somebody could be a painter. Somebody could be wanting to paint you or paint a picture, you know, of how things, uh, how things they're planning for the future. Somebody's planning for the future here. be you planning for the future let's we'll see what's going on collective here with you and this person somebody's birthday like i said could be on the 11th or the 16th or the 7th i want to say power somebody standing up being powerful being brave okay uh and it could be just the lion's gate portal coming through here okay it's very uh, uh intense portal once a year this happens now all right, so the number nine here, so uh, something's coming to completion, somebody's coming out of solitude, uh, learning something new, someone's been studying you, okay, or you've been studying something, or uh, you've been studying someone. I also feel like somebody's very uh, emotional at this time, or they've been going through an emotional state, an emotional roller coaster. All right, this is the girl in the tower. I don't know. Rapunzel energy is over here. Like, I don't know if you've got someone around you that's like Captain Save a Ho, <laughs> or like a, a knight in shining armor, or a a, a princess. Okay, if you're feeling like that. Somebody's uh, also like um, working on their self image. Let's see. 
so solitude, whether you've been in solitude or your person has been in solitude, it's been a period of introspection, okay, and learning something new, whether it's about yourself, it's about this connection here, or, um, you know, doing that research, that studying, and it could be a spiritual union, you're dealing with a spiritual person, okay, or you have a spiritual connection with this person, okay, or they have the same type of beliefs that you do. All right, let's see what we a harmony. I can't make this stuff up. Yeah, connection. Now it can be it could be love. It does not have to be just somebody from your past or somebody reminiscing about the past or past situations. Okay, keep I keep something keeps pulling me back or taking me back. There's like this magnetic pull here. I feel like uh, to become one. So uh, this person is thinking a lot about you know bringing this soul connection together, like soul to soul. So. I don't know, back to life, back to reality. So that, that may be significant for somebody out there, but this is uh, like the, the tree of life and, you know, making things bloom and bringing things back to life. This is also putting two heads together, I'm hearing. So uh, two heads are better than one. So somebody could have the same type of, you know, artistic or creative skills that you do. And like I said, want to work with you together. If this is not in a romantic way, this is in a, you know, a work setting. So I like it. All right. Now you could be of different cultures, different background, but you do have the same type of spiritual beliefs here. And that's the truth over here. So somebody wanting to speak the truth. Someone also is bringing balance. Yeah. Standing up. It's time with this Lionsgate portal, guys. It's time to be courageous, be brave, be strong. Finding inner strength in this solid period of solitude. Let's see. What else do we got? My cup runneth over. Somebody is uh, really focused on something that they love or someone that they love. All right. We got the number two, the number six. Somebody get born on the 26th. Somebody could have been born in 62. I would say you got choices. Ooh, somebody got a lot of options, okay? Or there's a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities, okay? Or becoming available to you or are about to come available to you or this person here or coming together. You have a lot of choices, a lot of opportunities, okay? There, uh, there's a lot of things that you can do together. Like I said, putting two heads together in order to open, unlock these doors to opportunity. Worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome. So I figured... That's what this person is is thinking about and thought about. They're um, trying to let go of, you know, the worries and the fears here and being strong and brave enough to take action and to know that they can handle any outcome that comes their way, okay? It doesn't matter. Maybe they're worried if you'll reject their offer or they'll reject their opportunity or you're worried about they'll uh, they'll reject your offer or opportunity here. So it's saying to let go of this worry here. You know, it's not about right or wrong. You know, it's about what's good for you, what's going to help you grow uh, spiritually, help you move forward, okay? And that you can handle the outcome of, the cho of whatever choice you choose, you know, and everyone has the right to choose. Rainy days and Mondays. All right, something may be happening today, definitely. Other than these Lion Gate portals, something going to, you know, definitely be, uh, I don't know, something's intensifying over here, guys. So we got surprise. That's what I feel like. It says success, but I feel like it's a surprise. It's a gift or somebody feels like you're gifted or they're, uh, somebody wants to give you a gift here. It says today's a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily, okay? Be open to uh, communication and listening uh, to each other, okay? Each other's point of views um, and, and each other's um place of direction, where you want to go, okay? Helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. So a lap, expect the unexpected, you never, you never know what's going to happen, okay? Or, you know, what's uh, what's meant to come your way. So just be open to receive this is what it's saying. It could be from a friend here or somebody wants a friendship, you know, if not a romantic connection, possibly may lead to a romantic connection if you work with this person. Let's see, I can get one more. Okay. Light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. So what are your deepest desires here? Ignite your passions and allow them to flow. What makes you happy? What's a, what are you passionate about? 
get creative, get artistic with that and allow those passions to um, come to the surface here. You know, these flames of desire. So I'm picking up some twin flame energy. So you could be dealing with a twin flame or you could be dealing with a higher level spiritual soulmate here. All right. So let's get some uh, romantic uh, Island Time Wellness here cards for you and see romantically what's going on with the collective right now. Romantically, how's you or your person feeling right now? What's going on? I'm hearing let's get it on. So a Marvin Gaye, let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. Somebody wants that. But now whether this is intimately or not, okay, someone wants to like get on the same page or get on the get in the same direction here. Or, uh, you know, is making the, the choice to do that. Oh, we have heart with the key here. It's like you're interlocking, right? You are the key to um, to getting this uh, abundance here. Okay, whatever that is for you. Welcoming or meeting, welcoming love or meeting the one and, and open your heart, open your heart and I'll let you love me or vice versa. That's what this uh, person is feeling. Um, they're making the decision to open their heart to love, whether this is new love or this is a rekindle of a love possibly from a past or a past life connection uh, or relationship here. So someone wants to get together. They feel like you're perfect, uh, that you fit. You know, you're the perfect fit. You are the missing puzzle piece to this person or or vice versa. So we have uh, self-indulgence, focusing on your self-worth and uh, a period of healing, uh, doing that inner shadow work and appreciating yourself, you know, getting out, taking care of your body, whether you're uh, going to the beauty shop or you're going to the barber shop. This is uh, putting in more um, care to what you want, okay? Uh, projecting, your life is a projection of what uh, what you put out there here. So I also feel like a, a lot of brushing your hair. I can see like Rapunzel, I think it's a Rapunzel again, like she's brushing her hair over and over again. So you're doing something with your hair, you're changing your hairstyles here, but um, you know, that attracts more to you, okay? Attracts more love here as you focus more on yourself, okay? Or this pro person focuses more on their self. So, we have love coming out, unconditional love. So someone loves you unconditionally or you love somebody unconditionally here. Focusing on that uh, that oneness within themselves, knowing that, you know, they have to fix those internal issues before they're able to attract the, the person on the same vibration as them, okay? And that's passions coming out again. Someone's very passionate about you. Someone's very passionate about moving forward, passionate about working together, like I said, in a work setting, a work environment, or uh, working together on this connection here. And uh, you attract more love by giving more love to yourself. So, give a little love, ooh, squeeze and a little kiss, give a little hug, mm, I want some more of this, okay, somebody wants some more of this, take a little time, <laughs> maybe the Judds are significant to somebody, I don't know, guys, <laughs> let's see, well, we got separation, so you're in separation with this person, or there's been a period of separation, and somebody's ready to get together here, okay, or about ready to make a move. Somebody could be missing you or you're missing someone or you feel like something's missing out of your life right now. And uh, it could be this, like I said, missing puzzle piece. Someone is doing this. I've been thinking about you, yearning for you, yearning for this connection, yearning for this relationship, yearning for this coming together. And I feel like there's still some unclear thoughts here. They don't know, you know, how to make this uh, next move. Okay. There, there, uh, a lot of worry, a lot of fears around that. So it's releasing that, taking, uh, taking this time in order to uh, make these progressions. Okay. We have stability and security, and uh, yeah, somebody feels like they, they're stable and secure with you. You make them feel safe. You make them feel um, they want your tender embrace. That's what it is, okay? They also uh, wonder how flexible you can be, okay? Flexibility. Are you going to be flexible with what they have to offer, vice versa? Are they going to be flexible with what you are uh, have to offer them, okay? Are you going to be able to work together and get on the same page? Let's see. What advice does the romance angels have for the collective right now? Oh, very soon. That one wanted to pop out. All right. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 
All right, so we got opening the heart chakra, these greens here. So green could be your color this week, more attracted to green, whether that's your favorite color, this person's favorite color. Decide what you want so it comes to you now because very soon, as I said, somebody's ready to come out of separation. Yeah, there's been a time and this, uh, this period of these separations in order to heal. Somebody's ready to heal this connection to come together, okay? Come together right now over me. All right. <laughs> All right, so we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Now, whether it's a high-level soulmate or it's a twin flame connection, yes, if you're wondering, this is your soulmate. And uh, enjoy the tender embrace between you and this person. Now, this person may like to, you know, kiss your hand. This person may like to, they may get, get down on one knee. Somebody may be getting a proposal over here. I'm just going to give that out. Or somebody's getting a gift of, also a gift of flowers. Like somebody's going to shower you with some gifts or you're wanting to shower somebody with a, some gifts here. If you're a male, female, it doesn't matter what uh, the gender is. Somebody likes the smell of uh, fresh linens too. That scent and lavender. Lavender is significant over here. And that's a very calming. Somebody is trying to, you know, come in in a calming matter. They don't want any kind of... Um, uh, they don't want to make any abrupt moves here to cause any type of disturbances. So, or disrupt your peace. All right, children, your love life is being affected by children, whether you have children with this person, okay, or children are just involved in this connection here, or somebody may want to have children with you. There's a lot of loyalty around you and this person and this connection, or somebody's wanting to be loyal to you. Okay, or somebody has been loyal to you. You've been loyal to someone. You may have two children with this person. If not, this is twins. Again, I'm getting more twin energy. So uh, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You know, it's uh, putting that self, you know, self-appreciation, knowing what you're worth, okay? Taking time and putting effort into you in order to attract this beautiful love. This person also likes to kiss you. They like to kiss you on the cheek. They like to kiss you on the nose. They like to kiss you on the forehead. All right. So we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you have real feelings for this person. They have real feelings for you. They also like to kiss the back of your shoulder here and your neck. Okay. This person may be uh, into leaving love bites too. So love does bite is what I'm hearing. So Whew, I don't know what that is for, but this person's hot and heavy. It's got, uh, yeah, they're very hot. Now, they may be attractive. You may be attractive, okay? Or this is just somebody that you're attracting. And uh, your feelings are real. These romantic feelings and they're worth exploring. Get to it. <laughs> saying get to it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so what do we have? embrace through each other you find the missing pieces here look the missing pieces here the the key to somebody's heart you have the key to somebody's heart they have the key to your heart here or you're just going to complement each other and be the perfect fit okay so we have balance love is not always about agreeing uh just for the sake of it but a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges each other okay in order to bring this connection into balance now this could be related with work and romance too balancing those out are you able to work together while being in a connection together guys when it comes to matters of the heart there's no right or wrong every choice you make is an understanding of life and love so yeah there is no right or wrong it's all about learning uh lessons and growing past that okay and leaving what's in the past in the past and moving forward from that okay it says deep in your heart you already know the answer so do what feels right so it's saying do what feels right for you okay it's not about right or wrong all right, let's get you uh, some channeled love songs here from this person or you to this person. If you are still in separation and you have had no communication, this is what they would want to say to you guys. All right. Okay. Baby, come back. Somebody could have been a player in the past, okay? Maybe they're dropping their player ways here. So uh, they're saying, baby, come back. Any kind of fool could see there was something. 
All right, we have baby come back. Any kind of fool can see there was something in everything about you. It says, baby come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong and I just can't live without you. Someone's saying that they can't live without you. They want you back. Whether this may be you saying this to this person, okay? Listen to that. It's an older song, okay? But um, there's words in this song that will let you know uh, how this person feels deep down about you. They're missing you. They're missing this connection. They're missing the way that you made each other made um, the feelings uh, were reciprocated on both ends. Maybe it wasn't reciprocated at the time in the past because this person wasn't open to a connection. They were in player mode. You know, they were out playing around, doing their thing. All right. And now they're ready to settle down because they, they've recognized that they can't live without you. You can't live without them. We've got You Drive Me Crazy by Britney Spears over here. So you're driving this person crazy. They're driving you crazy. It's driving them crazy that they're in separation and they can't be with you, okay? You drive me crazy. I just can't sleep. I'm so excited. I'm in too deep. So this person's like being open to love now, okay? And, and like I said, being open to settle down with you. You're driving this person wild. They can't even sleep. They're in their mind constantly thinking, worrying, okay? They have anxieties. They have fears, okay? You're the master of your inner world and you decide how the outer world affects you so it's asking you to calm your mind into that internal state you know go within uh you know in that solitude in that uh space get some space in between you and figure out what you want clearly decide here listen to these lyrics though britney spears you drive me crazy they're excited they can't wait to be together they want to rush in okay fools rushing in this person was a fool in the past okay i can feel this foolish energy where they made you know foolish and impulsive moves so it just is what it is guys i mean now whether you take this person back you know if it is an ex or if it's just somebody from your past maybe you had a romantic connection maybe you didn't have a romantic connection but you're attracting someone on your vibration now they've they've done the inner work or they're doing the inner work in order to get back to you and you're driving this person wild they're a wild one or they were a wild one okay let's get you some channeled movie lyrics here real quick and see what they would want to say to you or what you would want to say to them reverse the roles guys all right so we got milk money you ever seen that movie milk money all right it says there's a place you can touch a woman that'll drive her crazy her heart okay so this person's wanting to really get deep down into the heart okay with milk money here maybe you got that milk and honey with sudden wealth over here all right Yeehaw. Now, whether it's a man or a woman, uh, it's not gender specific, guys, but it's all about driving somebody crazy. They're crazy in love. They can't handle this anymore. Okay. They want to show you how much love they have in their heart for you. And they want you to show how much love you have for them, vice versa. They want reciprocity now. Whether they were a player in the past, they're making this change here. They're working on making this change and they, they can't take the space anymore. They're just, uh, they're in a hurry to get things done. They rush and rush, you know, because <laughs> life's no fun without you, right? We have Maid of Honor. So if you've seen that movie, watch that movie here. It says, nobody in this, uh, in the world makes me laugh the way you do. You're, you're my best friend. I just want to be with you. So somebody feels like you're their best friend, whether this was your best friend in the past, or you had a friendship or somebody wants and misses that friendship they just want to be with you and uh you know they're stuck in their thoughts right now how to how do i do this how do i make this move you know it, are they going to be open and receptive to me and vice versa you're this person you're my best friend oh yeah you're more than a lover there can never be another to make me feel the way you do yeah, you're more than a lover to this person, okay? And I think that they're they're ready to rush in. Like I said, this person was a fool in the past, and they're they're done with being foolish here. Let's see if we can get you some uh, a couple of these moon cards, or the moon oracle. What advice they have? Possibly what signs that you're dealing with here, collective. <laughs> you're driving this person wild, wild and free. They want to just, uh, this is like a white, uh, white stallion, wild stallion. 
I mean, this person was a stallion in the past, but they, that's how I'm getting like a knight of wands energy. So just be careful. This person could be flighty, a little in and out. It could be just that they're excited right now, okay? Uh, um, this could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. doesn't have to be. They could just have that highly aspected in their chart, or you do, all right? So we have take time take time out to, to breathe, okay? I'm saying to breathe through this, okay? I know it's exciting, but, you know, uh, this person may be one that just kind of spills everything out there. They want to just let you know all their feelings, like, all at once. Like, uh, they could be spitting. They could be a spitter. They could spit all over the place. Who knows? <laughs> so it's, like, ready to spit out their love for you. All right? They're saving all their love for you right now. All right, it's time to take action here with somebody could be dealing with an Aries. You could be an Aries here or somebody's a, a boss or uh, a leadership or somebody needs to step in this uh, spotlight, the spotlight, somebody's in the spotlight to take uh, take action, to take that leadership role. Say be bold and make the first move over here. So somebody, I just said Aries and Sagittarius, fire signs. I can't make this up here, guys. Okay, look at the big picture. An archer, okay, so yeah, definitely Sagittarian energy. Somebody's got Sagittarius highly aspected here. So, saying to look at the bigger picture, um, we got your commitment is being tested at this time. So, what are you committed to? Let's see if I can get one more. All right, meditate and contemplate. We got Pisces energy, Sagittarius, Aries, and Gemini. Communication is key. Key. It's time to meditate and, uh, you know, make your choice. What choice is good for you here? Um, you know what feels right. Do the do the right thing for yourself. It's not about right or wrong. Why does it have to be wrong or right? Why does it have to be one way or the other? Okay, somebody please, please tell me. Somebody could be saying that to themselves. Why does it have to be wrong or right? Maybe they've made too many wrong decisions in the past in this player energy, you know, this flighty energy. Let's, ooh, let's get some advice. Let's get a fortune card for you. It's a fortune card here. Change. All right. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is in the cards. You're restless and in need of a change. And that is exactly what's coming your way. So a change is coming your way. This tower moment's happening. Somebody could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in their chart, okay? Uh, or Aries. Um, but changes are coming. Ending and a new beginning. In any or all of these areas, okay? Something's required. And we have uh, tough and trying times. There's tough and trying times ahead, so think long-term and make decisions accordingly. You know, these choices, these options here, and avoid negative people at all costs. Get rid of this uh, during this uh, Lion's Gate portal, guys. Keep your vibrations high. Keep your positivity. If you have negative thoughts, do this countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Think of something positive in order to change that mindset, okay? Meditate, contemplate on it, okay? What's good for you? What's not good for you? Uh, there could be challenging times ahead here. It could be just uh, getting on the same page, making sure that you and this person uh, want the same things, okay? You're you're looking towards a better future, uh, a healthy connection, a relationship. Relationship. And we have signs. Your future positive directions will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. So follow the signs, uh, what you're being guided to. You're maybe seeing signs and synchronicities, number sequences. And, and it's saying, ask for a sign from the universe. You know, if this is the direction I'm supposed to go, please give me a sign in this way, shape, or form, or show me this, you know, or you know, show, give me some type of direction, and the universe will help you. They're on your side. They are protecting you, and you are safe, guys. All right, those are the messages I have for you. Let's get you some um, initials here and see you or your person, first, middle, last initial, who this could be, okay? Coming your way. Wow, okay. Well, it's down on the floor somewhere, so uh, I'll get it later. <laughs> all right. Obviously, if I didn't see it right away, it must not have been that important, but all right. We got C, H, H, Y, I, S, K. Somebody could be sick right now. They could be just lovesick. 
K and M. All right, first, middle, last, initial. She's so shy. Somebody could be shy. Could be working through that, trying to get over their shyness. Your kiss is on my list. Somebody's kiss is on you. Yeah, they're thinking about you. Your lips, you got voluptuous, luptuous lips here. Um, shimmer. So somebody could be into like glittery things. Maybe it's like lotions or perfumes here. Purifying your body. Um, I also feel like you're glowing here. And uh, that glow is attracting this love. Cindy. Sharla, Cheyenne, Kimberly, Mick, or Michael, or Mike. I said love bites, hickeys. Somebody could have that southern accent, somebody could have a southern accent or a different accent. Something's different, cultural differences here between you and this person, possibly, or different ethnicity. Hairy. Somebody could have a lot of hair too. They have a lot of chest hair. Somebody could also like like um outdoor sports skiing. I'm picking up skiing. Sky or Skyler. Micah. TC. Oh, I'm getting TC. Sorry, I'm trying to pick up some more names for you. So just give me <coughs> a second here, okay? Marsha. Somebody could be in the military here. They have some type of military background. Uh, I also, like, somebody may like to watch the, sh watch the show M.A.S.H. if you've watched that before. All right. Uh, Scott. Miles. All right, someone's very chic. I don't know where that came from, but somebody's very chic. All right, we have I, K, K, C, S, M, H, H, Y. First, middle, last, initial, you, your person. Okay, or anybody involved right now in this connection here it could be. So just take them as they resonate and leave the rest collective. So uh, that's the message I have for you today. Hopefully uh, it did help. And if it did, like, comment, share, subscribe, and please let me know. I appreciate all your feedback and it helps me grow. Thank you guys to all your supporters and um, all my viewers out there. I do appreciate you all and sending you lots of love. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.